Well, it's that time of year again for Count Chocula, but my question is, how come it doesn't taste as good as we remember? Well, there's an easy reason for that. I'm gonna cover that in this video. First of all, how are you feeling? You got John Riggs here. I love breakfast cereal. I also love video games too. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Always got new videos coming out soon. Now, this is a staple tradition around the Halloween season that you pick up some Count Chocula. And naturally, you can also pick up their friends, Blueberry and Frankenberry. I'm not only particularly fond of Frankenberry, but I'm pretty sure I could cosplay as this guy at some local convention sometime soon. Well, we'll see. Before we get into why it doesn't taste the same, a quick history about Count Chocula. This, along with Frankenberry, came out in 1971. And then not too long after that, they also introduced Booberry. And at the same time of Booberry, we also had Yummy Mummy and Fruit Brute. Now these came back for a limited time a few years ago. I wish they were still making these as well, but maybe they just weren't as popular, I'm not sure. If you're not familiar, Fruit Brute was a kind of a fruit flavored cereal. And then Yummy Mummy was kind of a citrus flavored cereal. It reminded me a lot of OJ's, which was an orange juice kind of flavored cereal back in the 80s. They brought these back, let's see. Well, it says the expiration date's 2014, so they probably brought these back back in 2013, and these are the throwback versions. Yeah, they're still full and no, I'm not eating them. If you want to know more about the history of these cereals and a whole lot more about cereal history, make sure you check out Cereal Time TV on YouTube. I'll link them in the description as well as right here. So not only do these not taste the same, but they also don't quite look the same. The original design had kind of a circle with a cross in it and then just kind of basic marbit looking marshmallows that weren't bat shaped, but that's beside the point. The quick answer is you just got to look at the ingredients. Now, if you're not sure how to read ingredients, basically whatever's listed first is what there's most of and then you just go down the list. And right up front, you have the whole grain corn. You're you're actually gonna get that whole grain corn right down the line. And a lot of cereals have done this recently. They've just kind of gone with the uh, whole grain corn flour idea to just cheapen the cereal. It doesn't make it taste the same at all. Um, not only does it give it a different flavor, but even a different texture. And not just these cereals too, we're talking about, remember like, I don't know, Cookie Crisp comes to mind too completely different from what it was when we were growing up. Now here's a box that's flattened from 1984. This was like, you know, during the height of when I was eating breakfast cereal anyway. And look at the ingredients. Number one ingredient, sugar, right up front. Again, sugar is listed, but it's second. So yeah, it's there, but it's not the same. And then the second ingredient, which I think is most important, is the oat flour. Now there's not a whole lot of whole oat flour cereals anymore. One of them happens to be Cheerios. Lucky Charms, the original Lucky Charms kind of? But then even when they brought back like, let's say chocolate Lucky Charms, well chocolate Lucky Charms, you would think that's the oat cereal with the marshmallows. It should taste like Count Chocula, but it doesn't because the chocolate Lucky Charms doesn't use oat flour. Ah, oh, we're so close. Maybe if you take chocolate Cheerios and put marshmallows in it, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have any chocolate Cheerios right now. I might have to, uh, do some research, right? So you have your sugar, you have your oat flour, and then you have kind of the rest of the stuff. And some of that is also included with what the marshmallows are. Oh, and that's not all. And then here's another box that I found online. And then soon thereafter, yeah, sugar is still the first ingredient, but then it goes on to a different layout. So they keep changing the recipe like almost every year, it seems like, until they just find probably what works best, that doesn't have the most complaints, that they can still sell and doesn't really matter because again, I still buy a box at least one every year just because, you know, I support the cause. It's, it's you know, it brings me closer to Halloween, I suppose. I usually have my perennial one bowl and my kids may or may not have a bowl too. In fact, this, I think I had a bowl and a half of this already and that's probably all I'm gonna have for the entire year. So again, like I said, that's the quick reason is just they changed the ingredients, they changed the recipe and they've changed the recipe on a lot of your favorite breakfast cereals growing up. But again, I love breakfast cereal, so I'll keep buying it. I know they keep changing the recipe, they keep changing the ingredients. They might even keep changing the shape, but that's something to look forward to all the same. Again, if you wanna know more about cereal history, make sure you check out Cereal Time TV online. And what are some of your favorite breakfast cereals growing up? I was a big fan of strawberry shortcake cereal back in the early 80s. I, mean, I wish they'd bring that back. And nerd cereal, are you kidding me? Man, let's bring back nerd cereal too while we're at it. All right, well, happy eating all the same, and we'll see you again real soon.